Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video here. Don't know if you can see that, but I got it. It's burning. There's basically no smoke coming out of the stacks. Um, so what I want to do today is show you some of the temperatures of this. Uh, this is a secondary burn. Uh, it's hard to even see the fire there, but it's going. And if you notice there, uh, it's kind of hot. I got to stay away from there. I don't melt my camera or something. I can't get that focus. If you can see right there, there's a that's metal right up there at the top. And that's a glowing orange, which means we're probably getting pretty close to 2,000 degrees in there. Fire's probably more than that, but it's heating that still up to around 2,000 degrees. Get a nice burn, finishing it all off. Um, I was going to measure some temperatures in here, but uh, it's in my my little back of the fire bricks 900 degrees if we get anywhere you know anywhere close to there we go over a thousand that's where that's where my that's where my thermostat ends at is a thousand um, even to the you know we're getting pretty high that's on the back side of that fire brick so we're pretty hot in there that gas coming out of there is pretty hot um, so what I want to do is basically show you how it takes that heat and it does a pretty efficient job of taking that heat and put it into the into the water. Um, so if we got we got our pipes here. I'm actually gonna yeah. I don't know if you can even see it in there. Anyway, this is the side of my woodshed. It's actually totally not sealed off at the top of there. We're gonna take the measurement down there before it gets up in the air. Um, so I'm shooting this right on the pipe. There we go. Now we're right on the pipe, just as it comes out of the insulation uh, before the roof of the, the shed, the boiler shed. Um, so that would be the hottest spot we'd get that I can get a reading on. If I hit something, yeah, I guess there's a few different temperatures around there. But we're running about 250, 260. I, I'm not getting anywhere that's I'm not getting anywhere that's over 300 degrees. So that's a good sign. We're not. We're taking a lot of that heat, 2,000 degrees or hotter air, putting that into the water before it exits this pipe. Um, now I do have some baffles in this pipe uh, to direct the air. I got those two twin pipes. I did measure them both. And they're they're actually the same, very close to the same temperature, because I got the airflow going through both of them. So what I did is I put some baffles down in there. They're actually grinding discs that I had because they happen to be the exact right diameter to fit in there and leave just a small enough gap around the outside for the, the exhaust to go up, hit those, and it forces the air out against the outside of those pipes to transfer the heat to the water instead of just having all the heat go right up the middle of the pipe and out the top. Um, I'll do a video showing you exactly how I did that uh, later on. but. Uh, um, Basically, I just wanted to show how this is working, uh, converting a lot of that energy to to heat in the water. Uh, it's been working for me pretty well. Um, my wood stack, as you can see, I've taken some down on that side. Um, still got quite a bit left. Uh, I'm really thinking this is going to last me the summer. Uh, this this uh, summer, I only filled it up about half full, maybe a little over half. Um, uh, next next year I want to fill this whole shed up with wood. Uh, the other thing is is my wood is not very cured. It's actually kind of wet. Um, so I'm going to fill that up next spring so it can dry all winter and have a lot drier wood. I think it'll even get more heat out of it uh, instead of having to boil off that water that's in the wood. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.